So I'm here with Terry from Stratasys. Uh, Terry, last year you had a, a printer that was doing some pretty cool stuff, but this year you've got stuff that is in color, which is new for you guys, right? That is correct. So tell me a bit about how this works. Well, this is our new Connex 3 printer. It uh, has the capabilities of printing in multiple colors in a single print, and also print in digital materials, meaning rubber-like materials. And uh, it just came out earlier this year, and it is our brand new Connex 3 printer. So tell me how you would do the blending of colors here. There's a lot of uh, really nice gradations of hue and stuff. Is that a three head printer or how does that work? Uh, no, it has eight heads. Eight heads? It has eight heads, but the mixture of color is done through the software where you determine where you want colors to be and then it mixes in the, in the print cycle. So the software that would produce this isn't your typical sort of uh, stuff that you would get open source. Is it specific to this printer? Or? It is specific to our printer, yes. Right. yes. Okay. And it's, this is the same material um, being printed in different colors, but you can do different uh, materials as well, like that hand, right? That is correct. There are different, that's in uh, uh, Veroclear, and then the other ones are in uh, Tango or just another type of materials that we have available. So you've gone beyond sort of uh, the old ABS plastics for your stuff, right? Yes, right. yes. And in the uh, FDM side, we can print in nylon or Ultem or polycarbonate and things of that nature. Okay. And what's going on in the printer right now? I'm making Dave the Minion from uh, Despicable Me, actually <laughs> making two of them. Cool. And the white is just this... The support material. Right. And then the nectarine is the actual, is the actual model. Okay. So, so how do you extract the nectarine from the uh, lattice? Well, when you get done with the print, you drop it into uh, what's called an SCA tank. And that tank uh, takes the material, the support material, and dissolves it away. Right. And then you're left with the model. So you can do some very sophisticated modeling because you've got that armature outside of it, right? That, that is correct. Right. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So you've got all sorts of cool stuff here. Now this was printed as a unit? This that is piece? correct. Everything. So it's a model turbine, but it actually rotates in place. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty sweet. Okay. Terry, thank you very much for showing me. Thank you.